How do you build a 200 kilo bench press or more? Well, today I'm going to teach you how by giving you my top three ways on how to get strong as hell on the bench press. Welcome to today's episode of One Take Your Daily Butt Kicking. My name is Connor Anderton. If you don't already know, I'm an online coach of 10 years who specializes in getting regular guys sick transformations and getting them incredibly strong in the process so let's get into today's episode the bench press if you do follow me or you follow me for a while you know i talk about the bench press a lot it's my favorite lift it's the lift that i get the most questions about i am good at the other lifts <laughs> i'm not one dimensional all around very strong but the bench press seems to be something that i specialize in a little bit more and people always want my advice on it. So I thought I'd do an episode on it today that I'll just really help you guys out on, you know, how to build a godly strength bench press. Personally, my, my best bench is a 200 kilo. Whether you can call that godly strength, I don't know. There are some freaks out there these days. In the land of social media and Instagram, it, 200 kilo bench press looks weak. From how strong people are getting, it just doesn't make sense. However, in the general terms, I think it's very good. So I've coached many people powerlifting competitions at national level, all sorts of stuff. Um, push myself to these these realms, work with world champions, work with world record holders, learn from the best in the world. Um, and I've picked up a thing or two. Let's put it that way. It's not like I've just been in the gym bench pressing. I've had a long career, I would say, so far, of being in the strength world, not only as a coach, but as, as, a, as a student as well. I would absolutely say I, I, I would still class myself as a student who, who can you know definitely take in more information off people who are absolutely better than me there's no doubt about that um one of the best people i took the majority of my advice from when it comes to bench press is brett gibbs i worked with brett for a little while i also did a seminar with brett where it really taught me that technique is king okay very long time ago this so we're going to start with the three points of how to get a Matthew bench press and it's not going to be what you expect exactly maybe one of them is maybe two are but all three it's not going to be what you expect first one I think this is what you're going to expect let's see is technique is king like I said before with shit technique you have a ceiling of strength okay you've seen them guys who's got that mong strength from the gym where they can just you know, you might see a young lad, he's benching 140, but he's going to plateau and he's going to hit a wall. And whatever bench press he can get up from his sort of like natural ability, is it's going to have that limitation, right? He's going to need great technique in order to push past that ability, okay? You can't just keep building unlimited strength with bad technique. When you look at somebody like Eddie Hall's 500 kilo deadlift, Look at how absolutely insanely perfect his technique was. Okay? Like that guy pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled until he's got that technique right where he needs it. Um, and you could, you know, you could argue that with many other world record squatters. Look at Ray Williams in the IPF, uh, a thousand pound plus squatter. Like his technique is unbelievable. And you're not putting that amount of weight on your back badly, like with bad technique. So technique is number one, guys. Like, this has to be at the forefront of everything. If you start to build strength with bad, te bad technique, you have ingrained bad habits that are going to push you towards that ceiling and not allow you past that ceiling, like I was saying. So what part of the technique should we work on with the bench press? Well, it should be the setup. Your setup should be identical every single time. Now, obviously, I'm not going to demonstrate. It's not a demonstration video. It's a podcast. So the information is fitness podcast. So we're going to give you the most information as possible. We're going to have to figure it out a little bit. So first one is position and setup. If your setup is identical every single time, then that habit is going to be built and you're going to be able to move the bar in the same path every single time and build strength in the exact line that you want every single time, okay? If your setup is different, your position is different, the bar path is going to be different, you're going to be pressing in a different line every time, then that is not the best way to build optimal and maximal strength. We have to be perfect with our technique, okay? Absolutely perfect. You look at a 100-meter sprinter, do you think he sets up differently? for every sprint or do you think he has an absolute routine that is so ingrained in his body that he doesn't have to think about it bench pressing is exactly the same so your setup is king 
identical from how you sit on the bench, from how you uh, first grab the bar, from how you pin your shoulders back, from the width that you grip the bar, from how you unrack the bar, from the breath that you take, um, from the position of your elbows on the way down to the position of uh, the chest that your that the bar hits. All this. Um, I got a nickname in the past. It was called the Lannan Line. Where I know my last name is Anderton now, but it never used to be. It used to be Lannan. And they used to talk about the Lannan Line, how good I was at getting that exact line every single time on every rep of my bench press. And it allowed my bench press to just explode. I went from struggling with a 120 kilo bench press for two years to having a 200 kilo bench press. That's silly, right? So, guys, technique is number one. Number two is going to move from technique, talking about that monger strength, is mindset. Okay, so you can have the best technique in the world, but if you've not got a mindset to get strong, you will never push the, the, the boundaries of your strength levels. That's absolutely going to be the case. Do you think, again, I use Eddie as a great example. Do you think Eddie pulled 500 with a weak mindset or was it bulletproof and he had nothing but pure belief that he could get stronger and stronger and stronger? And in his case, inhumanely strong, um, he just had pure belief. <clears throat> you have to come into every session with that belief that, no matter what weight is in your hand, you're going to lift it. That has to be the case. You cannot go in with a weak mindset. I see so many people, and I've worked with so many people who were getting stuck at a 100 kilo bench press, man. Like, don't get me wrong, from a general perspective, 100 kilo bench press is good. If you've been lifting for years, it isn't, unfortunately. You should be past that number. And I've had people make excuses like, my hands are too long, but this and that, this is the issue, already making excuses at 100 kilo. If you're gonna make an excuse, make it at 140, make it at 180, make it at 200, okay? Don't make it at these early numbers. You have to have this bulletproof mindset that you have got the ability to bench stupid numbers because if you start to make excuses, oh, it's, that, it's gonna be heavy this today, it's gonna to be that, you've already lost. Come in with a bulletproof mindset, I guarantee you will be stronger than ever before. Tip number three. Triceps, bro. Triceps, triceps, triceps. More triceps, okay? I would argue the bench press is tricep movement when it comes to the strength world, okay? If you're looking at it from a bodybuilding standpoint, for hypertrophy, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna train this uh, movement way more chest focused. But when it comes to powerlifting, when it comes to strength, when it comes to strongman, whatever it might be, the bench press is a tricep movement. So treat it like one, okay? How your setup is, we should be pushing through correctly with the triceps. We shouldn't be... Uh, going too wide if you're if that's a struggle we shouldn't go too close if that's a struggle we need we need to find the path that works for you okay but on top of that moving away from the bench press the majority of your accessories needs to be focused on that not necessarily chest dominant work so people will go oh bench press on a chest fo focus day or whatever not that necessarily agree with that and uh, then they'll go chest, 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 smashing all your working sets. Say, fuck that. Once you're doing your bench press, you're kind of done with your chest work, in my opinion. You could do some form of accessory, like a dumbbell press and all these sorts of bits. But I would argue you should go into like a, a dip, a tricep dip, or a neutral grip press, forms of push down, skull crushers, JM presses, close grip presses, all these sorts of things. The more you can hammer your triceps and the stronger your triceps can get, the stronger your bench press is going to get. I remember getting to a point where I feel like my triceps could lock anything out. And they felt bulletproof. And I felt like my locking power was just, nothing is going to stop me pushing these weights up. So that is tip number three. Triceps, triceps, triceps. If you follow these three tips, technique, bulletproof mindset, triceps galore, I guarantee you will break through plateaus and get stronger. Do not be that guy who gets stuck below 100. Don't get that guy who gets stuck at 100. Be that guy in the gym who's benching three plates. Be that guy in the gym who is benching four plates plus sit go past me and bench five plates and see what you can do but i guarantee this helps guys if you enjoyed this podcast please click like on the video maybe consider subscribing the channel is doing so well at the moment the views are through the roof a lot of people are subscribing and watching so i do thank you all for that if you've got any tips for anybody below on how you have built your strength and your bench press please leave it in the comments and we'll uh, we'll get to it and i'll reply but other than that guys thank you for listening thank you for watching i'll see you in tomorrow's episode